Hello, welcome back to Body and Brain TV. I'm David Driscoll. Today we are doing Tai Chi and Qigong for beginners. So let's do a short warm up. This will help your body be ready to feel the energy and stretch those muscles. Put your feet shoulder width apart, turn your toes open just a little, and let's bounce. So creating a little vibration throughout the body. Breathe in and breathe out. Allow your shoulders to go up and down gently. Relax your elbows, wrists, and fingers. So when we practice Tai Chi and Qigong, we're gonna feel a lot of energy with the hands. You wanna relax these joints as much as you can. Good. Also, feel the center of your feet. So your body weight should be centered in the middle of the feet, not too far forward in the toes, not too far back on the heels, right in the middle, just behind the ball of your foot. So imagine your hip joints pressing down on the center of the feet and shoulders over the hips. Chest open. Exhale. Good. Feeling relaxation from the top of your head down to your neck, shoulders, arms, Rib cage, abdomen, hips, knees, and feet. One more time, breathe in and breathe out. Good, stop. Feel the subtle vibration throughout your body. Now let's go deeper, feet together. We're gonna do some joint rotation warm up. Open up your palms. I'm gonna turn palms facing up and rotate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Opposite way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Open a little bit wider. Let's do. Elbow rotation. One, two, three. Now you can notice I'm twisting, so I'm keeping the arms twisted as I extend and feel the muscles around the elbow joint. Then untwist. Exhale. Switch direction. And now open up the elbow joint, turning the thumbs to the back. Two. Three, four, and five. Good, widen out the feet a little. Bend your knees, bring the hands up, and let's do shoulder rotation. So opening up the chest, moving that shoulder joint, and shoulder blades. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Opposite way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now keep that chest open, relax, arms out in front, and twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel your spine and feel around the waist. Don't turn your head, don't make yourself dizzy. Keep those feet planted and knees pretty much in one place. So you're not twisting the legs, just from the waist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. Already you should feel your body temperature rising and maybe a sense of energy flowing when you hold your arms like this. If you practice before, you'll feel a lot on your hands. Okay, so let's move down. I'm gonna put feet about hips width apart and rotate, rotate from the hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, switch direction, draw that circle with your tailbone. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Just a couple more warm ups. Go to the knees. Hands on the knees, keep your chin up, hips down, and rotate. Keep your heels on the floor. One, two, three. Feel your knees. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Shake, shake, shake. Now, if you haven't already realized, your body will heat up and warming up the joints is very important when we want to make these Tai Chi and Qigong postures and feel energy. We have to warm up the joints. Last one that I want to do is for your ankle. So lift up the heel and rotate using your ankle. Put a little weight on this foot. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, switch direction, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, feel each and every toe. Bring that foot back and try to stretch. You may need to grab the wall or a chair for balance. Stretch the top of that foot, so dragging your toes Feeling the stretch all the way up to your knee. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. And one more with the same foot. Put the side of your foot down and lean into it gently. Lean into it gently. Side of the ankle stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. And shake it out. So your feet are very important. We want strong, flexible feet. Opposite side, lift the heel. One, two, feel all the toes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Switch direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Very good. Same thing. Drag the foot. Stretch the top of the foot. Feel all the way up to your knee. Breathe in. And breathe out. And side of the foot. So feel the outside of that ankle. Good. Shake it out. All right. Now, the body should be warmed up. As I said, very important for Tai Chi and Qigong. Make a little wider stance. Let's start to use some of the big muscles. Gentle squatting exercise. Knees tracking over the toes. Toes turned out just a little. Use your hips, use your butt. Sit down, chest open. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Breathe in. Hold it. Stay there. Breathe out. You may feel shoulders, back muscles, thigh muscles. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Return. That's the feeling that we're going to start to develop through Tai Chi and Qigong is internal stretching, internal power. Okay, one more. To warm up, I want to use a technique from martial arts. Basic horse riding stance. Knees bent, tailbone tucked in slightly, chest open. So this is a very centered and stable posture. Hands, now your hands are going to be important. I want you to practice making a fist with energy. So curl those fingers in. So they're here, wrapped at the top. And then wrap them over. So don't let your fingers come down like this. You want to curl and then fold over. So the fingertips are pressing in the middle of your palm. And then lock the thumb gently over the first and second 
finger. Now, when you do a punch from martial arts, you want your wrist to be straight. You don't want to punch with the wrist bent too much in or out. Nice and comfortable. Straight forearm to the hand. Okay, so make a fist with both. Curl, fingertips touch the middle, and then lock that thumb. Bring it just below your rib cage on the side of your waist. All right, ready position. We are gonna do basic punch. Vertical fist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I want you to focus on relaxing your upper body and feeling grounded. So you're not leaning and you're not reaching with the shoulder. You're letting it come from the core. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Return. Now let's switch to the lower body. So bring your right foot back, left foot forward. We're going to do simple knee raise. It's like a kicking motion. So hands ready. If my left foot is in front, my left hand is up. Right hand is behind the left hand and lower. I'm going to shift the toes and weight forward and lift up the right knee. Very simple. So turn that foot slightly and lift. As my knee comes up, my hands go down. Ready, nice and easy. One, two, three, four. Obviously, this is helpful for balance. Five, and strength. Six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Good. Switch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Good. Return. Now, take an easy breath to clear your energy. Hands coming up. Breathe in. And sweep down. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now, in our next video, I'll go through more of our Tai Chi Qigong postures, as well as the three steps that you can take with every posture to increase your energy. See you next time.